Understanding exclusive access for the Nike SB Air Jordan 4 Pine Green. Nike, I think as consumers, we fully understand how exclusive access works. We're simply curious, do you understand how your own parameters work? Because they tend to fall by the wayside on actual release day and on restock. So if you aren't living under a rock, the news heard around sneakers app. There's a lot of stuff going on in sneakers right now, so hopefully you're able to keep up to date. And that's why actually a lot of us, including myself, still tune into other sneaker YouTubers or all of the publications because it's difficult to keep up with everything and maintain an adult life and you're taking care of responsibilities. It's a lot, but the Nike SB of uh, Jordan 4 Pine Green. One, it's the year of the pine green colorway, like just everywhere on every single Jordan model you can think of. Number two, I think a lot of people are really touting this as sneaker of the year. We're almost at that halfway point, right? We're a week away from the halfway mark of 2023. I still can't tell you what my sneaker of the year, like I don't even know that I have like a list that I've started yet. Maybe it's because I'm trying to fight the whole doing it extremely early. That's probably what I'm doing right now. I'm, I, I don't want to start that list a little too early, but we have a restock. And I know a lot of people missed out on this shoe. I've heard nothing but great things about it. So I will say that's a really, that's what I really appreciate about Nike and SB, you know, the Nike SB team and Jordan team collaborating together on this. They did a great job. Nothing but, I've heard nothing but really good things about it. And people are like doing wear tests and like beating these things into the ground or actually skating in them, which they're intended to do. I know I'm, listen, I'm one of those guilty people. I don't skateboard, okay? So I simply enjoy Nike SBs for the aesthetic and the style. Yeah, I, I, I don't skate. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't, and I'm okay with still wanting the SBs because a lot of you can't hit a jump shot, but you chase Jordans all the time. So exclusive access is available, will be available, right? Second chance. Here's the catch though, right? So Nike said, in order to uh, reward our loyal SB members who we feel will be most inclined to actually skate in the shoes, they're definitely, are they taking some shots at the people that continuously go after SBs, but they know you don't skate? Fair play. Fair play there. I know, you know, you, you'll have skaters that fall on both sides, right? They won't care because they're not out here on a basketball court all the time. Yeah, they may be going after Jordans. And then you have some that heavily care about SBs and people going after them that don't skate or aren't a part of traditional skate culture. Especially if you have a model or a pair, let's say, where you're supposed to skate the actual top layer of the shoe off to reveal what's underneath. Some of them take offense to, you know, you just cutting that layer off they feel some kind of way about that and i mean i'm not gonna apologize about that because i have nothing to do with that to be honest with you but they said only members who meet both of the following criteria will be eligible for selection so you ready you took an l on the main launch which occurred on march 21st a lot of people will fit that criteria number two though this is the one that's going to get a lot of people has made at least one Nike SB footwear purchase, not including Nike SB Dunks from May 21st, 2022 to May 21st, 2023 across the Nike digital ecosystem. So do you know what that means? Not in your local skate shops, which is how a lot of people actually support and secure, you know, local skate shops or SBs. They go in store or they try to maybe if they have one around them that has a nike account that doesn't count which i think is i want to say unfortunate but you could easily fix that list too if you were a shop owner no offense to y'all so i can get why they said across the digital ecosystem nike can track it in theory now <laughs> Not including Nike SBs, okay? They said, nah, <laughs> the SBs y'all regularly chase, not talking about those, so not dunks. You need to go have gone after other things. And there are other options, right? I think people really have in their mind, if you say a Nike SB, they only like the dunks. Some people probably really only think there are dunks, but that's not it at all, right? So if you simply go on nike.com or hop on the app, just type in Nike SB. Now, a lot of clothing will come up because they have extensive clothing um, collection now, but you have the SB Force 58 Premium, you have the SB Blazer, um, you have the SB Shane, you have the Bruin High, you have, what's another one? Uh, the Blazer Mid, which I at one point had a Nike SB Blazer Mid and I, I don't have it anymore. So I just didn't wear it a whole lot. 
It was my first purchase of 2021 and I actually gave it away during the Christmas holiday to uh, a family member. I think actually the sister of my hairstylist, I think she actually ended up um, having those as like a, a Christmas gift. So I got rid of my pair. I will say this, they were some of the most comfortable pairs and blazers in my feet don't mix well together. I'm just gonna be real there, but they were actually some of the most comfortable pairs. So you have other options. I guess Nike is trying to say, do you really support, you really about that SB life or is it just the SB dunk life? Because if it is, then we're not giving you a second chance. So I'm, I'm actually fine with the parameters. That won't be the problem, okay? There are consumers that don't have a problem with the parameters. What people will have a problem with and Nike may get themselves in trouble with as they have in the past. If people are able to hit not fitting the criteria, they covered themselves by saying, however, not every member who meets this criteria will necessarily be selected. So they've covered themselves there, right? Pretty much, yes, you may fall within this pool of eligible account holders, but it doesn't mean that you'll hit, right? And we totally understand that. The difference though, is if somebody should be way outside, right? Like outside of the club, you, you're not even inside the club. Still have, they still have the chance to like walk the little happy self up to the bar or something and you know, partake. So technically my account should not be eligible, right? A lot of your accounts should not be eligible. Please understand people will watch come what, May 25th? So technically tomorrow, I'm gonna try to get this out today. People are watching sneakers app heavily. They're watching socials. They wanna see if somebody is going to admit that their account got access on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, on anywhere, and they didn't actually meet the criteria. Trust me, they'll happily take that pair even if they don't meet the criteria, okay? Regardless of the like the price point of that Jordan 4, they will go ahead and likely take that shoe, but it's a great way for sneakers app and Nike and Jordan, we, they'll get drawn into the mix to piss off consumers and lower that consumer trust or that good faith that is always on shaky ground. So let's see what happens. I didn't go for it then, so I'm not going for it now with a second chance. I also shouldn't even have exclusive access to that. So there are there's so much more to just try to cover and get done. So I'll do my best to maybe get that all out in like a hodgepodge video later on this weekend or maybe i'll just break it up into little individual videos i'm not really sure trust me i appreciate you tuning in as always act your age not your shoe size peace